In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul, and this is the Good News. The scripture reading today is taken from the Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 10, verses 24 through to 37. For I tell you that many prophets and kings have desired to see what you see, and have not seen it, to hear what you hear, and have not heard it. And behold, a certain lawyer stood up and tested him, saying, Teacher, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? He said to him, What is written in the law? What is your reading of it? So he answered and said, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, and with all your mind and your neighbour as yourself. And he said to him, You have answered rightly. Do this, and you will live. But he, wanting to justify himself, said to Jesus, And who is my neighbour? Jesus answered and said, A certain man went down from Jerusalem to Jericho, and fell among thieves, who stripped him of his clothing, wounded him, and departed, leaving him half dead. Now by chance a certain priest came down that road, and when he saw him, he passed by on the other side. Likewise a Levite, when he arrived at the place, came and looked and passed by on the other side. But a certain Samaritan, as he journeyed, came where he was. And when he saw him, he had compassion. So he went to him and bandaged his wounds, pouring on oil and wine. And he set him on his own animal and brought him to an inn and took care of him. On the next day, when he departed, he took out two denarii, gave them to the innkeeper, and said to him, Take care of him, and whatever more you spend, when I come again I will repay you. So which of these three do you think was neighbour to him who fell among thieves? And he said, He who showed mercy on him. And Jesus said to him, Go and do likewise. This part of passage for many people is very familiar. The Good Samaritan. We read at the beginning, For I tell you that many prophets and kings have desired to see what you see and have not seen it, to hear what you hear and have not heard it. This was, of course, addressed to his disciples. This could also be said today. There are many people who desire to see what they saw, but they have not seen it, and to hear what they heard but not have, have not heard it. And this is why it's so important for us to read the Bible, and in particular the New Testament, about Jesus and his teachings. And of course, one of these teachings that we have here is the story about the Good Samaritan. When a certain lawyer stood up and he asked Jesus, Teacher, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? And he said to him, What is written in the law? What is your reading of it? And of course then he answered and said, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, with all your mind, and your neighbour as yourself. 
This verse in scripture is the foundation for us all to love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, with all your mind, and your neighbor as yourself. This is the teaching. This is what we need to do. And then, of course, the question was, and who is my neighbor? The Jews and the Samaritans really didn't get on well. To a point, the Samaritans were an outcast. They are mistreated. How many outcasts do we have in our times, in our world? And how do we treat them? Do we send them away? Or do we leave them half dead on the side of the road? There are many examples. All you need to do is watch the news and you'll see in the world terrible things happening. Terrible things happening to our neighbour. And what do we do? Do we just walk by on the other side and try to ignore it? The teaching here of Jesus is no, we do not. We are told to love our neighbour as yourself. How do we do that? Of course, it's not possible to go all over the world helping people. But we don't really need to do that. Our neighbour could be anybody. Our neighbour is anybody except ourselves. They don't have to be living next door or down the road. Your neighbour is someone you're sitting on the on the bus with, going to wherever work or going to a football game maybe. You're sitting in the bus. That person next to you, complete stranger, he or she is your neighbour. We must love them, as Jesus said. And of course he gave the example of how this man felt pity on him, picked him up, put him on his animal, took him to an inn. And because he had business, he couldn't stay. So he gave the innkeeper some coins and said, on my return journey, I'll pay you what you spent. He showed mercy on this poor person. The crunchies when the young man spoke to Jesus. And Jesus said to him, Go and do likewise. This is for all of us, not just this young man talking to Jesus. Go and do likewise. Help your neighbour in any way possible. Your neighbour may not necessarily be the person half dead on the side of the road. It could be anybody. Anybody who's having difficulty. We ought to have mercy on them and take care of them. 
pray to the Holy Spirit that you will understand these teachings of Jesus and go and do likewise. Glory to God for all things. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen.